today we learn about divisibility rules for 10, 5 and 2. We learned some rules of divisibility in class 6. You can pause the video and read them from the table shown below. Have you ever wondered how the divisibility rules helps to determine the divisibility of a number or how does these rules work? In this video, we will learn about the divisibility rules for 10, 5 and 2. Let's talk about the divisibility rule for 10. The divisibility rule for 10 tells us that if the ones digit of a number is 0, then that number is divisible by 10. For example, 10, 50, 230, 4500, etc. All these numbers are divisible by 10. Let's understand how this rule works. Suppose we take a number like this, in which A is at 1's place, B is at 10's place, C is at 100's place and these dots tells us that there can be more digits to the left of C. We can write this number in general form like this. We know that numbers 10, 100, etc. are multiples of 10, that is, when they are divided by 10, the remainder is 0 in each case. Therefore, we can say that all these numbers shown will also be divisible by 10. Since these numbers are divisible by 10, their sum will also be divisible by 10. Thus, we can say that this number will be divisible by 10 only when the digit A is also divisible by 10. Can you find the digits divisible by 10 among all these digits? Think, think. You are right. In these numbers, 0 is only digit which when divided by 10 gives the remainder 0. Rest of the digits if divided by 10 does not give remainder 0. So, only 0 is the digit which is divisible by 10. No other digit is divisible by 10. This means this number is divisible by 10 only when A is 0. But A is on a unit place. This means that when the ones place digit of a number is 0, only then the number is divisible by 10. Now, let's know about the law of divisibility by 5. This rule tells us that when one's digit of a number is either 0 or 5, the number is divisible by 5. Let's know how this rule works. Suppose we take a number like this. We can write this number as follows. We see that all these numbers are divisible by 10. Since these numbers are divisible by 10, their sum will also be divisible by 10. Since 10 is a multiple of 5, we can say that this sum will also be divisible by 5. Thus, the divisibility of this number by 5 depends on one's digit of the number. If A is divisible by 5, only then number will be divisible by 5. But 0 or 5 are only digits which are divisible by 5. Any other digit is not divisible by 5. In this way, we can say that if the ones digit of a number is 0 or 5, the number is divisible by 5. Now, let's talk about the law of divisibility by 2. This rule tells us that if the ones digit of a number is 0, 2, 4, 6 or 8, the number is divisible by 2. Why? Let's discuss. When the numbers such as 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, etc. are divided by 2, give the remainder 0. Such numbers are even numbers. But when numbers 1, 3, 5, 7, 9, 11, 13, are divided by 2 does not produce the remainder 0. We call such numbers as odd numbers. 
At the ones place of even numbers, we see that there is one of the digit from 0, 2, 4, 6 or 8. But in case of odd numbers, the ones digit is 1, 3, 5, 7 or 9. Suppose a number is like this. We can write this number as follows. We have learned that all these numbers are divisible by 10. Since these numbers are divisible by 10, their sum will also be divisible by 10. Since 10 is a multiple of 2, we can say that the sum will also be divisible by 2. In this way, if this number is divisible by 2, then it must be an even number. That means there will be digit 0, 2, 4, 6 or 8 at the ones place of the number. So we say that if the ones digit of the number is 0, 2, 4, 6 or 8, the number is divisible by 2. Now you must have understood the divisibility rules for 10, 5 and 2. Today we have learned about divisibility rules for 10, 5 and 2. In the next video, we will see some examples related to this. Thank you.